not everyone should be your friend. Yes, I mean not everyone should be your friend. There are some friends, they are enemies. And you need to cut off from them as fast as you can. Now, if you are a woman and you are married, and you have a friend that is not encouraging you to make your marriage work, you need to flee. You need to cut off. I have a friend, though a widow. But I can tell you, word of advice that is coming from this woman we always want you to always want me to be around her a friend that we encourage you to respect your husband a friend that we encourage you to support your husband a friend that will support you to make sure that your marriage is working respective of a, a friend that, that knows that a man will always be a man that you as a woman you, you you're not supposed to compete a man is a man and will always be a man respect your man respect your husband and stop doing competition stop showing off stop doing doing as if you, are, you you have everything even if you are the one that is footing the bills for now remember hmm, table can turn what happened when table turn please let me not deviate my message for us today is as a woman you have a friend that is not putting sense into your head that is not talking sense into you then you need to cut off. And there are some friends, we call them Dabi Motida. It's not working for them. They are looking for people to recruit. Do not allow them to recruit you. Whatever you're doing that is working for you, if it is MUMU that they think you have, please continue without your MUMU. He being Mumu, we make your life sweet. We make your life good. We make you enjoy your life and have peace. Please continue that MUMU. Some of them, the MUMU they are doing in their own zone is more than whatever you can think you are doing. And yet, they will come outside and tell you, I cannot take it. I won't. I will never erode. They are taking what is more than what you think. So please, be mindful of who you call your friend. Be mindful of a woman or a man as well. Even some men, they encourage themselves, they encourage their friends to be against their wives. Men, please run away from such men, from such friends. And a woman that is a friend or a lady that is a friend that you call friend and is not, is not helping you to do well in your business, in your marriage, in your spiritual life, in whatever you are doing, Please cut off. I'm not saying you should be an enemy with such people. But let everybody day their day. Day your day, let me day my day. Don't come and post and stand in my gallery. If you allow anyone to destroy your marriage, you will be the one to face the consequences. And if you allow them, or you're for you, they will destroy it and go and run far away from you. Even when you go to them later for help, trust me, they will not be able to help you. This is my small konkolo, shinkini, shishi, my, my penny that I have, I have to borrow you or to dash you this afternoon. There are some friends that you need to cut off from. A friend that will be telling you what to do against your husband or your wives. Please cut off. Your husband or your wife should even be your number one friend. But in case you say, I must have a friend. Please be reasonable. And you, auntie, uncle, brother, please try as much as possible. Let God use you. Stop being an agent of the devil. If you see that somebody is having challenges and they come to you for advice, don't destroy it more. If you cannot help them, just tell them you can. Leave them the way they are instead of destroying things more. A friend visited me. This same friend I was still talking about visited me. And then my husband was going out. And I, I discovered that my husband was, was not with water. And I asked my husband, oh boy, are you not going out with, or you didn't, what about water? The lady quickly, ah, are you not supposed to be the one to give him water? Please go and bring water for him. Don't, go not, don't ask him. Ah, is your husband, you know what is best for him, so do it for him. I was supposed to walk her out, walk her down. But she waited patiently for me to treat my husband right. She was even telling me what, what she think and what she knows is better there are some of them yes they are not in husband's house not because 
it's one circumstances or the other but they know the best thing to do we can move close to these people nobody knows it all anyone that want to talk you out of your marriage run away from such people that is my own let me add this there are some ladies what you think is right for you is to be using sex to punish your husband he did not do this he did not do that because of that he will come today please let's have some some fun you will say no i'm not available what you did for me the other day i have not forgiven you come one week come two weeks come three weeks come you are still there in the name of i've not forgiven you and you are not stabbing him with sex you better have you you better you better wake up from your from your dream you better wake up from that sleep so that you will not dream so that that dream will not come to reality because by the time you dream 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 finish it you are you are punishing him there are people there are girls there are ladies out there or because you say he's poor today you don't want to respond to him because it's portable with turn there are ladies that are out there that they are ready to give